my friends. Welcome back to Frosty Eye Candy. So I'm gonna jump straight in and show you the dried and resin results. She dried absolutely beautifully and the coat of resin just flawless, which is miraculous for having a cat in the house. <laughs> but here we go, let's get, the, uh, let's get the light on those piggies there so we can see Nebula, Constellation, and then the beautiful comet there all singing together with the PBO and the golden acrylics. So how did I get to this? And how did I get that beautiful kind of depth where it seems to go away and then come back much larger here? Well, I'm gonna explain that to you in the how-to video, but let's first run through some colors with you. So first up, as I already said, we are using TLP and this one is called Nebula. Beautiful kind of dark charcoal color when it's wet, dries very nice and beautiful black with a kind of green hue greeny blue hue to it so that's going down first and on top of the nebula we are putting down the fabulous constellation this is a gorgeous purple as you can see here and it has a kind of blue interference quality to it so uh, that's constellation the next one then it's time to put down a tube paint so I'm going to put down some of this this is PBO iridescent uh, iridescent orange yellow so as you can see it's a beautiful yellow uh, beautiful orange but then in some lights it should flash a little bit yellow and kind of give us a bit of a gold tinge so that's going down on top of the nebula and constellation and then next one of my all-time favorites the close second to twinkle comet yes i i just can't leave i can't leave i can't do a pour without using at least one interference color because they're just so dynamic and add such depth and variety to your pour um, and this one yes comet it's the beautiful dual interference gold and red and then we're going to put down a tube paint again back to the studio critics and uh, this is pbo iridescent blue violet so it's this lovely pinky color with a beautiful blue flash to it and then to finish things finish things off <laughs> I'm putting down some of this one. It's the golden uh, hard body, and this is the light phthalo blue. Uh, and the cell activators we are using, it is uh, the Amsterdam Prussian blue. Sorry, again, I had to think there. Right, I'm gonna stop getting tongue tied and getting all my words mixed up. We're gonna zip it, and we're gonna get the camera pointing down, and let's get on with painting. Okay then, my friends. First thing I should say is that this is a eight inch cradle and I think I put down about two ounces at the most of black pillow. So here we go for the first beautiful color. It's the gorgeous Nebula by TLP. As you can see when it's wet, kind of a charcoal color with a beautiful blue green flash, but dries black and leaves that flash behind. And then the next one we're putting down is the fabulous Constellation. Beautiful, beautiful purple color with almost a interference blue quality to it. So when the light hits it, as with the nebula flashing greeny blue, this one will flash lovely, beautiful blue. And the next color now, it's the PBO iridescent uh, orange violet. No, sorry, orange violet, orange yellow. And we're just putting down a little bit of this. Not too much because as we know, orange can overtake and kind of ruin the piece almost by covering itself with everything. <laughs> so the next color, this is the fabulous Comet, of course. One of my favorites, all time favorites, close second to Twinkle. And it's the iridescent, uh, sorry, iridescent, it's an interference, gold and red. And here we have the PBO iridescent violet blue. So gorgeous violet color, violet pinky color and gives us a flash of blue. And the last color we're putting down now, friends, this is the uh, golden hard body and it's the light phthalo blue. It's a gorgeous color. And as you can see, or as you saw from the video at the beginning when I showed you the piece, uh, the cell activator grabs onto this and uh, this just rings the top line of cells and is just really such a beautiful color and really performed amazingly in this little eight inch swipe. 
So the cell activator we're using, friends, it's the Shelly Art recipe. If you'd like to know what Shelly Art is, it's an online pouring course that I highly recommend. I'm going to put the uh, web address up on the screen now. And uh, I even have a 15% off discount code that you're welcome to use and share freely. And I shall put that on the screen right now. So yes, the Shelly Art recipe for Cell Activator, it's the Amsterdam Prussian Blue this time with the Australian Flow Troll, usually mixed in between three to four to one. So we've got the large swiping tool and here we go. Now notice how I press harder here and then much lighter. Now this helps give it the lovely depth and dimension that the piece has by, as you start the swipe, just start to push a little harder down into the pillow and then release the pressure and just come over lightly. And as you can see, it gives us that lovely depth right in the middle of the piece as all these gorgeous cells are popping up as I'm waffling on. <laughs> so while we're looking at these cells, I'd love to tell you about our Facebook group, The Acrylic Crazy Train. Please search us out on Facebook. Uh, it's a safe space, an acrylic safe space for you to share your work get uh, tips and feedback in a safe way without fear of ridicule or any nasty messages, anything like that. I and the other admins and the other members patrol the group fiercely to make sure we only have nice, constructive, helpful people in our group. So as you can see, I was just waffling along there and wetting the edges of the canvas, just kind of getting it to move over a little bit. And we're gonna go in for the first spin. Now, for anyone watching for the first time, I always leave my spins in real time. So if you're learning and watching, you can see how long and how fast I spin for. We don't want to spin too fast because that can warp the cells and the picture that we have. It's a nice steady speed and I like leaving my piece spinning just a little longer than usual or other artists because I like to give the paint a good chance to meet the edge of the canvas and flow over nicely onto the board. And just moving the piece again, and we're gonna go in for the second spin. And while we're watching this spin, please, if you like this piece, it is for sale in my Facebook store. So please search out Frosty Eye Candy in Facebook and then click on the shop tab and you will see this piece and many others that are available. See, we go for a nice close up. Wow. <laughs> I know I say it every time, but it couldn't have come out better if I tried. But I'm uh, pretty sure we need just one more spin just to get off the excess here. Still a little bit of movement. And here we go. So please join me every Sunday for our show, The Joy of Pouring, on my YouTube channel, Frosty Eye Candy. It's every Sunday at 2 p.m. PST. That'll be 4 p.m. Central and 5 p.m. on the East Coast of North America. So there you go, my friends. You can see me, I'm just picking up little bits of paint, adding it to the edge to help the piece flow over nicely so we have an even coverage of paint. And while we're just waiting for me to do that, please, I'd love to remind you to subscribe. If you're just watching my videos, I'm very grateful for the watches. But if you subscribe and also like the videos, this helps me greatly because the more watches I get and the more likes I get, the more likely Facebook, uh, sorry, YouTube is likely to suggest my videos to people. So please don't forget to subs subscribe and like and comment. And also ring the bell, please make the little bell solid and that will notify you of every time I release a new video. So just finally doing the last little pieces to this friends. And here we go for a nice close up. Don't worry, we're gonna be going even closer in the next shot guys, but just to give you an idea and give you a nice look of how this piece is looking and how those interference pigments and TLP pigments are just singing together with the other paints, making such a beautiful picture. So there we go for the nice close up, my friends. So thank you so much for joining me. As I've said, please like, share and subscribe. If you like what you see here, please visit my Facebook store 
And as always, my friends, happy pouring. Thank you.